Yeah, hello and good morning or good afternoon, depending where you're attending from. And welcome to our Virtual Direct Mail Days 2020. I am Ernst August Formwald. I am Product Manager at WND for our mail solutions. And with me is Dirk Pinge, one of our service technicians. Today, we would like to present the latest development for the WND 410 Easy Envelope. This machine is known as the easiest converting machine in the market and it earned worldwide success in the direct mail market due to its ability to convert litho preprint or to print high quality flexo in line and to emboss in line to make a high value direct mail envelope or fold at significant low production cost and time savings. Now the 410 becomes a direct mail finishing solution delivering high-value effective direct mail pieces with piece-tracked data-driven print. And for this feature, to print individual blanks or envelopes, we call it 410i. But before going into detail, let me explain the very unique direct mail application we will present to you today. What we will do is, we will turn a individualized, personalized, pre-printed blank into a six by nine shape cut envelope. Further to this, we will spot emboss an area of the envelope to create a haptic experience. And we will cut a window in the shape of our company logo and back it with metallized paper, giving it the look of hot foil. All this in a single workflow at 30,000 envelopes an hour and at the fraction of the cost compared to traditional hot foil emboss. Looking at this envelope, the shape cut definitely stands out in your mailbox. The foil backed window provides a valuable appearance and the haptic or the embossing gives a haptic experience when holding the envelope in your hands. Envelopes like this definitely catch the eye of the recipient and they will be opened. But I talked a lot. Let me turn to Dirk and ask him, Dirk, what makes an easy envelope, a WND 410 to a 410i? What is the difference to a standard WND 410? Well, what's new and unique on the 410 is that it has two cameras. Uh, one camera is located under the feed table. It's, we, we cannot see it. No, we, you can't see okay. it right now. And uh, one camera is on the delivery table. It scans a code. This camera scans a code which is printed on the outside of the envelope. And the camera in the delivery section which I can show you if you want. Okay, yeah. It's located right there in front yeah, of no, the bottom no, top folding yes. cylinder. Yeah, yeah. Scans right. the code of each envelope which goes onto the delivery table. Okay. Okay. So what happens is this code is idly located on the bottom flap, so it's covered by the seal yeah, flap. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. It could be everywhere around the envelope surface but idly on the, on the bottom fold, on the leading edge, so it's covered. Okay. So nobody can see it. Um, so what happens is this camera in the feed unit scans the envelope and the software, the corresponding software, uh, checks for readability okay. and then uh, creates a CSV file at the end so you can see exactly which envelope went through the, through the machine properly without getting lost okay. and what envelopes are getting onto the delivery properly. What happens to the CSV file? Where, where can we find this? The CSV file you will find on the customer server. It, do we need to do it or is it automatically? No, it's stored? automatically generated. Automatic? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's automatically. Oh, I mean, uh, thinking this one step further, I mean, that's a huge advantage as a, uh, as a mail, direct mail printer, you actually can print all your documents in exactly the same order and the same quantity you have envelopes for. 
That's true. And, and not only this, actually, in the next step, when uh, the inserting process starts, yeah, if your envelopes are in the same order, there are less matching issues to expect, less manual interaction, and which gives you a smooth inserting run, though you're, you're much faster finished with a shop like this and, and you save additional money in, uh, yep. in the following yep. process. That's, that's and, and after all, uh, that's the first time that the complete production process from digital print over envelope converting up to inserting is 100% tracked, piece tracked, the very yep. first time. But I guess I talked a lot by now. Everybody wants to see the machine run. Here, can we start the machine? Of course, absolutely. So yep. I'll make room, you do your work, and let's see how we end up. All right, let's go. Yeah, as you just saw, even demanding envelopes like this here can be easily produced on a WND 410. And with the new camera system and tracking system, those in envelopes can be even made from personalized pre printed blanks and uh, made ready for later insertion. But we talked a lot about traceability right now. Uh, I would like to go over the production process here and uh, move over to Dirk, who is already on the uh, embossing station. Dirk, uh, would you mind explaining us the embossing station a little bit and show, it, and show us how it's done? Of course, I can do that. Okay, so we have the embossing section right here. It's uh, situated right behind the Flexo printing unit if they are installed. Okay. And let me show you, let me take it out. I'll get out of your way. Got to open the doors for that. And with a push of a button, I can take it out. So you can easy operate on it and uh, putting on the plates. The plates are photopolymer plates. Uh, we have a, a male and a female plate and they are positioned with a, with a zipper. You, you maybe can see the zipper here, but I also have a set of plate here. You've got the, 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 the female plate and the male plate and they have a, a zipper, so they are positioned uh, axially and also uh, forward-backwards in the right position. Uh, and Dirk, why is it for the polymer plates what you're using here? It's, uh, it's, it's easy to change, it's cost-efficient, it's, it's not very expensive. Okay. And they are pretty durable. Cool. And um, once you, you put them, you position them, everything is fine. You, you can put it back in, position it to the right position and move it back. And then you're ready to go. The next, if I'm right, the next is a form cut station. Yep. Let's move over and talk a bit about that. Okay. Let me open this up here for you so you can see the flex die. We have a magnetic cylinder here and the flex die is uh, mounted on that one and you can see the shape of the envelope, including the WD logo, which is also being cut out here. Mm -hmm. And, Dirk, would it make sense to bring pre-cut blanks? I mean, pre-cut in, in, in the shape of the envelope well, to the in, machine? In theory, you can do that, but you will see that you will have problems uh, in the feed unit with this special shape, um, as well as the, uh, the accuracy is not as good as when you, when you cut it right in there after the score. Okay. 
So it definitely uh, makes sense to do it to that do it way. Okay. To do it that way. Uh, maybe an important thing is also that uh, uh, in the, for the US customer, it's called TED-C, uh, Trailing Edge Die Cut. It's uh, also uh, approved by the USPS uh, full automatic discounts. Uh, and currently, um, because of, uh, of uh, special USPS promotions, uh, you can have another uh, additional uh, postal rate reductions. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good for our yeah. US exactly. customers. Huh? Exactly. But exactly. Dick, I just saw that uh, on the same station, the window is cut out, this oh, yeah. uh, uh, form window. Is there anything special with this or anything complicated on this? Well, in theory, it's the same as a, spe a, a standard rect rectangular um, window. The only thing is you got to pay attention that it's not too filigran because those little chips need to be sucked away properly and safe. Uh, and then you need, obviously you need the gamma, which has the same shape as your cutout, and it needs to be adjusted. Uh, but other than that, it's the same as a regular envelope, okay. uh, re regular window. Good. Okay, let me close this up here for you. This way, this way we can go on. Okay, Dirk. Uh, I think from here on it's a standard uh, uh, folding machine. Uh, yes. But uh, there is one thing I'd like to know. Uh, uh, what is about the IQS system, what WND provides as an option? Yeah, we have an option called IQS. It's a system which um, checks or monitors the entire production process. There are several sensors installed in the machine which check for the side cut that it's probably cut out, the window cut that it's probably cut out. It checks for the window patch that it is located on the right position. It checks for the side glue that it is applied correctly. Okay. And also for the seal gum, that the seal gum is applied completely oh. So, so it has four sensors for the seal gum. Wow. So it's, it's an integrated system. Yes, it's uh, an integrated system. system. Exactly. Like That's what IQS means. Okay. And then um, it, uh, th when it detects a faulty one, it's be, uh, either kicked out or um, um, ejected. Uh, you, can just, you can decide that. And uh, when you have more than one or two, depending on wh what the settings are, uh, when you have more faulty ones, uh, the machine stops and then you have to make some settings to Check solve forth. that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I think uh, let's move over to the delivery table. Okay. I've got some questions for you okay. over there. No problem. Yeah. Oh, okay, Dirk, um, anything what needs to be, con be considered here when you uh, box the envelopes? Uh, well, yes, important is that uh, obviously that you don't destroy the order, the sequence, when boxing. Because oh, they are okay. personalized, yeah. uh, and otherwise you will mix yeah, them up, yeah. and that wouldn't be good. And we talked about the report in the beginning, the report for the CSV file. This is automatic? or Yeah, it's automatic, automatically generated and uh, stored on the customer's and, server. And, and what would it look like? Yeah, I, 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 I can show you an example if you want. It, it will look similar, not exactly the same as the customer would have it because it depends on the customer's requirements, but I can show you. Okay, looking at the CSV file, uh, I mean, you need to be an expert to, to be able to read and interpret that, but, but as always with the CSV file, you can uh, import it into a spreadsheet software like Excel and do your own reports. Exactly, exactly. Yes, Dirk, uh, many thanks for presenting this new WND 410i. Uh, this actually is the world's first production envelope converting machine, which is capable of converting one-to-one -one digitally printed envelopes that can be put into an intelligent mail inserter like our new BB820 and to make a highly impactful data-driven mail package. So as you see, the power of the envelope is real in the world of direct mail options. WND now takes it to the next level with our data-driven envelope finishing solutions. I hope we were able to give you a little more information about the function of the WD410 Easy Enveloper and the new 410i. And as always, if you have questions, please contact us either directly by email or by our website. Thank you.